Hello friends, I'm John Laspina, the carnivore teacher. Today, cholesterol is the topic. Again, I know, I talk about it a lot, but it's important to understand the concept because all the wrong messages are out there about cholesterol. You keep hearing the messages that high cholesterol is bad. What's your cholesterol? You need to be on a statin. You need to lower your cholesterol. Cholesterol, you eat this, it, has, it helps your cholesterol. No, cholesterol does not cause atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is when you have in your arteries, you have plaques that are building up on the inside of your arteries so the blood can't flow through very easily, leading to a potential heart attack. Cholesterol does not cause atherosclerosis. Repeat, cholesterol does not cause atherosclerosis. You do not need to lower your cholesterol. You do not need to take a statin to lower your cholesterol. I am not a doctor. Do not take anything I say as medical advice. This is my opinion. But where did I get my opinion? I got it from Dr. Berry. I got it from Dr. Sivas. I got it from Dr. Baker. There's so many doctors that have taught me this information. I got it from Anthony Chafee, Dr. Chafee. So when we are eating carbohydrates, which turn into sugar, and we, and we are eating sugar, that sugar is sticky. And when sugar sticks to your cells, it's called glycation. So the inside of your arteries, there are these little cells on the inside that line the inside of your arteries, and they're called endothelial cells. And the sugar gets stuck to the endothelial cells. And the shape of our endothelial cells are supposed to be kind of, kind of rounded but flat. And they kind of overlap like this, you know, one after another. Okay, if you can picture that in an, in an artery, endothelial cells, they're all healthy cells. The sugar sticks to that flat endothelial cell and it damages their skeletal structure and they plump up and then they plump up. And notice right now there's a space right here in between these two cells, a space and a space. And that space, blood goes through causing inflammation. And the body senses that inflammation and it sends more inflammation because the body sends inflammation to heal a damaged area. Those cells are now damaged. So now the body sends signals to send things to heal. One of the things it sends is cholesterol. Cholesterol is a good guy. He's going there to fix the damage that you did by eating all the carbs and sugar. So it puts a plaque right there where that space is to seal the, to seal the gap. So here it is, there's a plaque. That's a good thing until you continue to eat more and more carbohydrates and sugar. So now your body's sending another plaque and another plaque and another plaque until maybe it's like Band-Aid on top of Band-Aid, plaque on top of plaque, now the blood is having trouble getting through there and you could possibly have a heart attack or a stroke if it's up in the brain. Do we lower the cholesterol? The body is still going to take whatever cholesterol you have in your body. No matter how low you make it with statins, it's going to take that cholesterol and make a plaque because you're damaging your body with sugar. So it doesn't matter what your cholesterol is. You're creating the damage by your diet. The answer is to eliminate the carbohydrates and sugar or eat a very, very low carbon sugar diet. And then it doesn't matter what your cholesterol level is. You can have a 400 LDL, a 300 LDL, a 200 LDL. It doesn't matter because the body isn't going to send one of those things there to help make a plaque with calcium because there's no damage because you didn't eat sugar. Those cells are nice and overlapped and flat and the blood is going through the artery. There's no damage to the skeletal structure of all the endothelial cells and you're chugging a long life and your LDL is doing good things like making bile, like giving you a substrate to make testosterone and estrogen and progesterone. It is helping to make vitamin D, your cholesterol is feeding your, it's the structure of so many cells, just like it was the structure of that plaque, that LDL is the structure of the myelin sheaths that go up your spinal cord. That's the insulation on your spinal cord. Cholesterol is vital, it's necessary, it's important. 
We don't want to lower our LDL cholesterol just because we have a damaged artery. Stop the damage by eating carbs and sugar. Stop eating carbs and sugar and you don't have the damage and it doesn't matter what your cholesterol is. That's my lay person's understanding of atherosclerosis and cholesterol. I'm not a doctor. I don't have all the fancy terms. I do know that carbohydrate and sugar damages our endothelial cells, causing our body to make a plaque with cholesterol to fix it. Get it? No carbs, no sugar, no damage, no need. Good cholesterol is doing all that stuff. That cholesterol is amazing what it does for the body. I don't want mine lowered because I know I'm not damaging my body. Pass this message on, people. Tell the story of what is actually causing heart attacks because that story is not getting out there. Say it with me. What's causing the placking of the arteries? Carbohydrates and sugar damage the cells that cause the damage that makes the body want to make a plaque. The body won't make a plaque if it doesn't have the carbs and sugar in excess damaging the cells. Have a good day.